Hello, hello, and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Yeah, we see Bitcoin go to a new all-time high. Not surprising, given that our forecast is still that the price should go higher overall. The price should actually still stretch ideally higher to 95 to 97K within this third wave. Reminder that this is still the perspective. Yesterday, I posted that on Twitter as well. Make sure you follow us here for you know, all the latest updates. Um, as a gold member, you get even more updates, but some of these are posted on X and Twitter as well, or X or Twitter, X, formerly Twitter. Um, yesterday I posted Bitcoin is breaking out of its range to the upside. My hope is that we can move forward toward 95 and, and then maybe 97K. Yeah? But the current price action is quite corrective, which is what we've seen. So we are on our way to 97K possibly. We're going to take a look at that now. In my last video yesterday, I've been warning about a correction as well. That warning is still active. I'm talking about a, let's say, 10 to 15 percent, maybe even 25 percent correction. Regard, you know, depending on if it's the blue count or the white count, that shouldn't shouldn't surprise anyone yeah, if that happens, because this is still outstanding. A fourth wave at the moment. This is just a warning. In the short term, we want still the price to complete the pattern on the lower time frame, go up a little bit higher, but then this fourth wave is due and it could send the price first into this support region here for this wave four between uh, 76,350 and 82,880. Now I have to say again, I think some people misunderstand this. It's not a major top yet. I, okay, if I'm warning about a 10 to 15% correction, that's not a major correction that's normal even in a bull market I'm talking about a local top that could form once this rally is over and we're expecting first a 10 to 15 percent pullback into this support area there will be a decision point to see if the buyers can step in i would like to see the blue count which could then sell send us higher maybe into december and q1 maybe mid january or february into this maybe 130k region which is where I will actually first really watch for a major top, right? And and once we complete all of these structures to the upside, I think that's, that could be pretty much it, um, while being open to further upside extensions. But first of all, let's see if we can get there. And then if it's the white count, then it could send us even towards 70, 75K. Yeah? So don't be surprised if that happens, but that's why we're tracking on a daily basis the one hour time frame which um, gives us the latest insights and my communication was that ideally we're stretching higher here according to the white count a uh, blue count we could still be in the third wave internally 95k next and then 97,000. i mean will it stretch to 100 we will see but it's gaining some upside momentum suggesting we could be in this third wave indeed it looks a little bit better than yesterday which was quite choppy but again, as long as we're holding higher lows and higher highs or forming higher lows and higher highs, and uh, as long as we're holding above the invalidation point, which is the low here, the local invalidation point, this swing low from Sunday the 17th, this wave count uh, remains um, active, right? And really the next level to watch as support is 91,490, the last swing low. It's not, not really an invalidation point, but it's a level I like to watch. As long as we're holding above it, there's no sign a, um, a top has formed. So again, we're following the pathway higher. It's not complete yet. Now it can it can top at any point, but for now I'm watching still for higher. But we're getting, you know, the air is getting thin now. Now I'm going to watch if the market can reach my next targets at 95 and 97,350. That's expected until we break uh, key support levels. And the first level to break to indicate a top is 91,450, um, last swing low. Actually, we could put a, just sort of a structural support line on there, just to indicate, right, that is a level to watch, right? Um, Fibonacci support, I'll leave it on the chart for now, but we'll probably take it off later today. And then we've got the level below that, which is this one, which is at, yeah, 88,000, you could say 750 which is the swing low from Sunday the 17th. So overall, I feel just working on the pattern, filling in the pattern, um, and it seems like um, the micro count is gonna be filled. So if anything changes, I will let you know. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership 
Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.